My real life haunted house experience. So this all started when I was around the age 14, 12 years ago. My younger brother and I decided to swap rooms. From the first night I slept in my new room weird things started happening. I usually sleep through the night but I started abruptly waking up at exactly 2.17 am on the dot every single night. Each time I would wake up I always felt that sixth sense that something slash someone was watching me from the right corner of my bedroom. Always. I felt good energy from spirits before when family members have passed but this was something different. It seemed invasive, intimidating and I was freaked out that whatever this was could see me but I couldn't see it. What's weird was when I slept at my mom's house, I never woke up at 2.17. Only at my dad's house. Then small occurrences started to happen. I was staying at my mom's when my dad informed me my alarm clock radio turned on by itself in the middle of the night at full volume and woke the whole family up. I hadn't been to his house in days. When I was home again my little brother and I would play in the driveway. He had to go to the bathroom so he went back in the house, but all of a sudden a tennis ball came flying out of the garage. He was nowhere in the garage. One night I heard paper shuffling on my desk even though the window was closed. A different morning I watched my dad's sunglasses on the kitchen counter move several inches by themselves when I was the only one awake. My older sibling began to believe me when random lights would come on by themselves in the house. What's strange is we caught onto the pattern that paranormal activity would happen mostly when my little brother wasn't home. Fast forward to when the house was empty since my parents were on vacation. My grandma would check in on the house with my siblings and each time they'd go back a new light would be on. The last night before my parents came back from vacation, she triple checked all the lights were off. My parents were surprised when they arrived home to find every light on in the house. My grandma swore our house was cursed and refused to visit anymore. My stepmom then began to believe my paranormal stories. My older brother and I heard footsteps running up and down the stairs together one night when my younger brother was at a sleepover. It really freaked us out. At one point it even got dangerous, the gas stove burners had been turned on by themselves on low heat overnight. If any of this had been a prank previously, I can guarantee no one in our family would mess around like that putting our lives in danger. My dad finally began to believe me about 8 months into this haunting when all the kids weren't home one night and he heard whispering in the hallway. He freaked out and grabbed his knife thinking there were robbers. When he opened the door he found my TV had turned on by itself and people were talking on the TV with low volume. The last thing to ever happen was one night I had come out of the shower and I went to change in my room. The mirror was foggy from the steam. My older brother knocked on my door and asked what I wrote on the mirror. Confused I went to look and we both sat there in awe as letters began to show up in front of us slowly. The whole family gathered around to decipher it. It said, I am watching underscore underscore underscore. The last word we couldn't figure out. Our family didn't know how to justify what we saw. After that day the occurrences stopped. I stopped waking up every night. A year later my dad called me and said he found something really weird on my brother's birth certificate. He asked, didn't you used to say that Nick, younger bro, was somehow connected to the haunted stuff that happened in the house? After confirming, he casually mentioned that my younger brother was born at exactly 2.17 am. I was speechless. This was no coincidence. From that day on I have had so many more questions than answers. Two years ago I had a psychic media meeting and after sharing my story she said how the entity targeted me because I acknowledged it. It was no longer in the house, she confidently said an entity like that is attached to an object or a person that has since left the house. I definitely think something was attached to my younger brother.